season six episode two of rick and morty here with brand if you haven't checked out our video from last week we did it it's out there go check that out we had our comments go watch them wait this is terrible <laughs> i didn't even introduce the channel yet <laughs> there's nothing to introduce they don't need an introduction they like what they see guess what that's an introduction to the channel and it's on it takes two takes and that's the new right. episode is called a uh, rick yeah a rick a uh, mort well lived so i think that's probably going to be a call back to the game if you remember the game the movie with michael douglas remember they had like a game with like that character roy oh. where like you go in and oh oh yeah yeah roy he like he lives it. his life and it's yeah. minutes in real time but he like actually goes through this whole guy's life in the arcade yeah yeah so i think yes. it's gonna have something to do with that okay all right we'll see but we'll see well we shall my shirt with my complicated patterns very expensive shirt <laughs> You guys want to do more skateboard moves? Which ones? The rad ones. That's which. How are you kids? Did you know your grandpa's trying to get Why are they all talking like Morty? I noticed it at first and I was like, maybe they're just being lazy in a funny way, but yeah. it is getting a little they worship some obvious. Roy that says he's everybody's grandpa. So what do you want to do Roy. today? Roy. Roy. That? Yeah. Maybe let me. That's the guy from the game. This is actual truth. I'm a scientist in real life, but this isn't real life. This is oh, it's a Rick. video game. You, you, you... So Rick is Roy. You're stuck in a video game, and I'm here to get you out. What about me? Am I your grandson? I just said everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but don't react like that. If the power went out, the game restarted, and your identity has been splintered into all the non-player characters. So I jacked in as Roy, that's the player character, to get you, my grandson Morty, out of the game before it's over and you die. Okay, <laughs> question over here. Am I your grandson? That's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> of morty all of you collectively are morty look i don't want to seem impatient there's five billion npcs in roy well what am i doing it's a small group of alien terrorists just do a die hard what does that mean around <laughs> use air vents you've never seen die hard i'm 17 no i've never seen fucking die hard. <laughs> oh. good luck <laughs> they did the guy in die hard uh, he's right so we got Five billion Mortys or pieces of Mortys. Yeah, he said you're one in five billion. I think he said five billion. That's a lot of um, NPCs for a video game. So his, so what was it? His consciousness is split into these billions of yeah. NPCs, and he's trying to, I guess, get them gather them all together. Or yeah, something? while it's being attacked by alien terrorists. But it's not a religion. But isn't that not a cult? Not a religion. <laughs> We exchange tokens for digital currency. We don't have a safe. Correction, what you don't have is a head. <laughs> so we've got a Hans Gruber alien terrorist. Why would you give Whose voice is that? That's a guy from Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Tyrion Lannister. Um, it'll come I to me. I know him yeah. from Pac-Man. I can't remember his name. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, there you go. Boy in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> followers but this isn't a religion and while i do have a message from a world beyond this one and i do need the entire world to hear my message <laughs> what i do not need is any more songs about it not in this genre down lady i'm not a lady and you're not a soldier some waco texas vibes there oh uh, right right you, you feel me dog you, you, you're, you're, they've all got their yellow shirts yeah <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, There's all your all Jesus. It's you everywhere. It's, it's beautiful. This is John's. I repeat, have you found him? Breaker, breaker, walkie talkie. I got your walkie talkie, bitch. Are you doing I like how all the aliens look like Jar Jar Binks. I was gonna say the little that little move there was a Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Every sentient civilization across the galaxy eventually develops the same myth. In Centauri, it's known as Tower Man. The Oranese have their <laughs> and in Andromeda, it's called foolish to have imagined you'd be able to kill. <laughs> My mom? You're not at all real mom. A mom in a video game. Occupied by a tiny fraction of yourself. A fraction of yourself which is now dead forever. And fractions add up, so I had your dad brought here. You're welcome, you horrible <laughs> monster. <laughs> That's what I was saying, like, 
How many people are dying? Because the more of those that die, like, doesn't that, like, make memory loss or something for Morty? Some element of him. I thought you said she doesn't know how to do a diehard. She does. Nakatomi Paradigm. What do you expect her to do? Buy us each an ice cream. Wasn't that the name of the building they were in? Yeah. She hates diehard. Which makes her the ultimate McLean. <laughs> told you this was a waste of time. I've got 92% of you ready to bamboose. We're not going to get to the rest by making deals with Paris. Pretty impressive, 92%. Yeah. And, and what, maybe 10, 15 years? Why do you think a guy becomes a president in this game, honey? By not paying attention? Sorry to call you honey. I know we're both parts of a 14-year-old boy, but my part's old-fashioned and vaguely southern. I'm confused. <laughs> to that part of us when we're all back together one morty indivisible under a cranky old bag of dicks a man you can love <laughs> goddamn flesh and blood for 50 goddamn simulated years and never hear him say i love you sorry pumpkin tits that dog don't hunt <laughs> want some heroin? It's, it's a video game might as well <laughs> <laughs> i did not see the heroin coming finally get out of these clothes i don't have nearly enough pockets and it'll be nice to have my own dick back you're, you're fine with eight percent your morty and eight percent of anything is expendable eight percent of pizza is crust eight percent of the snyder cut was batman dreaming i don't know what the <laughs> i'll get every single part of me to get on every ship and go with you good but you have to tell us you love us but uh... i mean at this point even if he said it what, 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 what's with the pause screw you <laughs> <laughs> what I say last review? Yeah. <laughs> now they're starting a holy war. What do I have to say? I love and respect you, okay? Too late for talk, Rick. <laughs> a robot, of course. I'm not gonna risk dying. That's why the robot was able to say it. Wherever she is, I'm sure she's doing fine without your help. Woof, jinx anyone? <laughs> <laughs> You shooting higher. I don't want to shoot the glass because you don't have to not do things that were done in Die Hard. You can shoot the glass. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. much glass, too. <laughs> I'm old here. I want to be a teenage boy. I want to jump around and do homework and jerk off all over the place. But Dad, that's... you have to bring in the masturbation every time. It's a reference to being a teenager again. I finished my singer. You don't. <laughs> Can you say zinger? Yeah. Do I make the checkout to best daughter ever? Incorporated. <laughs> so <stupid. laughs> that was worth it. How old has he got to be? Like 180? You left your book in the bathroom. I read it while I took a shit. I mean, mostly <laughs> the end. What a twist. They were counting on her to not know Die Hard. She learns Die Hard. But he knows she now knows Die Hard, so he should have already shot. Do, baby! It's a quick draw, I guess. I don't know. I didn't used to be like this. I, I uh, ate a kid. It was dark, and I thought he was a grown-up. <laughs> Ever since then, I haven't eaten anybody at all. I think I was channeling all that pent-up eating energy into this job. But now... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some rich douche wants his last game to keep running. He hooked it up to an external battery where you're supposed to store it. Weird. Yeah, and get this. The game's still going, but Roy's dead. What? Yeah, he's just a corpse floating at the edge out of space. So I can put it anywhere. Here's fine. That's as fine as anywhere else. Yeah, hey, Peter Dinklage. That's the guy from Lord of the Rings. No, it's not. <laughs> God damn it. He was a hobbit, wasn't he? It's the same thing. Lord we'll of the to... Rings, Game of Thrones. No, it's same stop, shit. stop, stop. You're just, oh, Jesus. You're like Summer with Die Hard. <laughs> well, the sign from Die Hard 3 was clearly racist, obviously. But uh, <laughs> Samuel Jackson with the sign? No, it was Bruce Willis with the sign. Oh, yeah, it was Bruce, yeah, Bruce Willis with the sign. I, I, I want to make sure I understood this correctly. Did Rick leave? I don't know if it was 8%, but like a portion of Morty's. So it looked game. like he just left the one old lady behind. The what one I want to know was proud and he loves him. <laughs> right. And that's what I want to know. Like, did they basically, you know, that was an, 
I know it was one part, right? But it was the part that had rallied together all all the Mortys basically that were not going to give in to Rick, not follow Rick, not you know what I mean, not be obedient to Rick. Yeah, um, they were pushing against him, which we've talked about it in the in the episodes last season. Sometimes you didn't like it that Morty was actually pushing back. Morty and I, I argued character growth, character growth, and then towards the end of season five, we both were like, "Hey, this kind of worked out." What I want to know is, did they essentially, maybe vaguely, maybe directly, make some sort of move to say that growth that we saw in Morty, we just left behind in a video game? There was one piece of his consciousness, this older lady. That's left behind the machine, right? Yep. This person had no trouble leading this 8% and having them stand she their didn't, ground. But she didn't lead the 8%. Okay. She sure. led the 92%. The 8% is the ones that she couldn't convert. But she convinced them to go with him. After the holy war and stuff, yeah, because you had you had that whole holy war that happened. But I think that's we don't know point. what happened after all that. Okay, because my point was going to be you had an 8% that were resistant to follow Rick. In my opinion, that's maybe the 8% of what we saw in character growth for Morty that started to actually stand up for himself. But see, that's the but, thing. She she controlled the 92%. Okay. Forget her for a second then. Okay. The 8% that, that didn't follow. Right. But what did they, the president say? What did he say? Well, actually, what did Rick say to the president? Maybe people that prefer their leaders a little more elected? Right, your voters. People that like being told what to do but don't like admitting it. That 8% could be the part that hangs around Rick because he's afraid to go out on his own. And in theory, they would never have gone if they were true to that part of Marty, Morty's consciousness. But they did. And and therefore, did he lose that 8% because they went decided to, they were told and they agreed to go ahead and follow him? Except for this one, potentially. That's a lot. Yeah, this one. I don't know. We just got very complex. And uh, this whole probably 15-minute attempt at really breaking this down, it'll end up being a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was impressive. He converted an entire planet in like 20 years. <laughs> if anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this time and time again. With Rick and Morty, there is the sort of especially as the seasons have progressed, there's sort of the plot line, character growth type episodes, which we 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 saw really this last episode too. And then there's the sort of, let's make a little fun playground and kind of do a satire on something, in this case, Die Hard. But I do think that this episode, in in, in a way, like how that last episode where they kind of reset, you know, their realities, so to speak, in a way, they kind of set a little, I don't know, planted a little seed where they, if they wanted, they could pull some sort of trigger and we may see a different Morty, maybe to some degree. I don't know. I don't know. I think they keep building that Rick is getting tied to this family. You make, I, they keep pushing that. Like last episode, it was, I can replace you all, but he didn't. Why save this Morty? He can just go get another Morty. Last season was Morty's growth, and I think now they're growing Rick to be more emotional and stuff, not so a, a, an emotionless robot, basically. The Die Hard thing was awesome. The uh, Die Hard thing was awesome. It was the, uh, that, that was funny. Not the, shooting the glass because it happened uh, in Die Hard. <laughs> yeah, the, just the premise of having to to work under the understanding that summer has not seen die hard that the, there was some complexity there too but even the funny just stupid stuff that like we end up just busting up at like the yeah. you know you, know, you got a walkie talkie that makes a noise every time you squeeze it um <laughs> little little stuff it just is what makes this show so great that was a fun episode i i, I if you're gonna do a satire you're gonna do a little if you make it almost feel like a bottle episode but it's really not it's not um, because once again you have you have two things that can happen. They yep. can degrade Morty back to where he was in season one, season two, and they can upgrade Rick to be more emotional and loving towards his family. And we exactly. won't know until episode three. We may not know till the season's over if things play Correct. out the way we've seen with big finales and things like that. What did you all think of this episode? If you haven't seen Die Hard, maybe go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh 
yeah, as always, thanks for watching. You know what to do in the world of YouTube. Show us any support you can, and we definitely appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next week for the next episode, I'm sure.